30 minutes past the top of the hour. And if you've been with us, you've heard me uh, just in my level of excitement about MIBF, Macedonia International Bible Fellowship, which is where I was yesterday with my Bishop Kenneth Almer and so many other amazing men of God, uh, Bishop Van Moody, um, Deontay Salter, it's just Jody Moore, so many amazing men of God. And um, they started off talking about how we need to be prepared for the times. It can feel like we are hopeless and helpless and that we are not equipped to draw a dying world. But he affirmed and pushed us and told us that God is with us, that his hand is on you, that there's a call on your life. Be affirmed and reaffirmed. Um, protect and guard your anointing. Don't be so discouraged that you stop seeking God and you stop preaching the gospel. Don't be so discouraged that you stop telling people about Jesus because the enemy has tricked you to make you believe that nobody wants to hear it. Yes, they do. They do want to be free. They do want to be delivered. Yes, there are some people that don't know that Jesus is what they need. But guess what? It's our job to stay still tell them anyway. But the Bible does say one must be wise to win souls. So that does not mean walking around with a Jesus sticker on my forehead and giving people hell and doom and damnation because the Bible says for God so loved the world. Point blank period. All of the world. God loves all people. I love all people. Period. Now I know all you judgy good uh, good angry Christians and go with the angry face and God go get you. God is more loving than he is that that evil, nasty thing that you do all the time. Because guess what? Every time you get messed up, guess who forgives you again? God and loves you again. God, guess who sits at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us? Jesus, give him a chance. Give him a chance. He know you're not going to pick him. He know this world is crazy. He know where you live. He understands what's going on. God ain't surprised by it. He's not overwhelmed. He's not going, uh-oh, what am I going to do now? Look at the internet. He's equipped people to go into the devil's territory and take the kingdom back. But you have to go with love and you have to go with wisdom and you don't need to speak Christianese, but you are equipped. You are prepared. Seek God's face. Seek God's plan to make his name great, not yours. Now, if you're going because you need acceptance and you need someone to tell you you're great, you don't go. You sit down. If you got a bad ego problem and everybody makes you mad, you're going to cuss everybody out. You don't go. If you boldly post, I'm saved, but I cuss a little, you don't go because you will misrepresent the father. If you go with love and you go with patience and you go with understanding, you are equipped to go. You Maybe you didn't go to Bible college, but study the word of God and go with love. I don't care if you standing out in front of the grocery store going, hey, I love you and give him a flyer. You don't have to go, do you know Jesus and the pardon of your sin? You don't have to do that. Not yet. Love him first. Give them, you are equipped, anointed, and prepared much more than you think. Stop sitting at home going, I just wonder what God want me to do. I don't know what God want me to do. He wants you to tell people about him. That's what he wants you to do. All right, I can go off on this one. Let me calm down. All right, that's my Erica-ism for the day. All right, guys.